The Stauffenberg Cycle For Julian Beck in Eternity Was habe ich hier verloren in diesem Land? What have I lost here in this land? Hans Magnus Enzensberger Left Kathmandu on winter solstice Arrived Munich 10.30 a.m. December 22, 1977 Arrival Hermann Goering screamed at me, demanding one Deutschmark for the use of a pushcart at German customs. He muttered to himself abashed when I told him to shove it up his ass. Ten years too late, a monument. 23 December. So Venus has seven screws in her left leg, and Dorpheus has one screw in his heart, which is left of center. Only one block away is Badestrasse, where a pregnant woman and two children pose with machine guns. Can there be humor in terrorism? Will the first X over the picture of Wackernagel spread over the undisguised faces of Europe? Will the daughters of the pastors betray the sheep to the wolves, prowling, hopeless? And Julian Beck, crawling in the dust, carries on a hopeless legacy, like the reincarnation of Emma Goldman wandering in the streets, shroudless and alone. I think Thomas is right. Only the 300 kilo glue on the doors of Germany's banks could make them aware of the terror, once sacred like sacrifice in the time of gods gone by. 24 December, Christmas Eve. She says I shouldn't leave Germany without making a poem free of malice. A poem celebrating something as if it would not be the self-evident statement of a man who cannot by blood refuse the conventional grievance nurtured by history. We spoke of a curtain rising, knowing it bore the word hysteria in place of history. And of course there were always those same fat figures making their vulture songs on the currency of greed. And so I willingly accept the pain and guilt, not on knees, but on feet of gold, and know that there is a flame, yet unignited, a laser staircase on which such gods might ascend to strains of glory Kremhild never dreamed of. But then awake to these extra cerebral knots of nostalgia and the thrilling fear, suspicious of what awaits a single Parsifal in a world careless of horses. Still in love with Klingzor, tied to an impossible past and a lust for survival at any expense, they schlep their corsages of approval from Bonhoff to Bonhoff, and I was moved enough by the face of Frederica Kraba to make a crooked star shine above her head on the wanted poster pasted on the front door of the Schwabinger Krankenhaus. It is Christmas Eve, and I realize I am in a country where one can count on angels hiding in surprising places, and that the potential gleam exceeds your request, shines by necessity in a way only I can know, a brilliant flash in the oven of your soul, taking on the karma of unpublished love and ready to fall on knees, broken by fate. There will never be a last day of this war, my love, and he who was shot will rise in eternity to praise the open heart which forgets itself in recognition of doom covering the kindred. The elephant need not be caged. A circle of steel spikes is enough to keep it from escaping, but there is no place to hide, zelsam and loaded with ivory. Night of the 25th, Christmas, a mad hatter's meeting with Otto, Joachim, Wolfgang Amadeus and Thomas tearing apart a half-Jewish chicken. Suddenly on the TV screen, a Christmas special, The Merchant of Venice. Joachim likes to take LSD when he works as a machinist. Otto, dreaming of Bangkok, turns up the schlager music and makes Wolfgang run out screaming, Sadism! Sadism! Thomas smokes a cigarette with conscious elegance and asks dialectical questions as hypothetical Davids stand frozen in eternity. Chaplin is dead. December 26th. Better to be carrying bananas in Africa than to be the god of Europe. 
Goebbels too might be digging Rhapsody in Blue or even Charlie Parker in 1977. Munchen ist für Hunchen. Every true German knows he must have a dog. And there his soul runs from silver or golden leash to the whimpering kiss of his heart's reflection. Training can be draining. And the trainer conditioned by the dog's reflex empties another can of dog food to feed an ego changed by hunger. Mein Hoff, my hope, is greater than any traitor. And Botter was better. Let the dogs bark later. 27 December. The room de Welt is wie ein Windesrauschen. Das bald von hier, bald von dort her kommen. The Namen mit der Richtung pflegt zu tauschen. Dante, Purgatorio 11, 100. The glory of the world is like a rustle of wind, which coming first from here, then from there, usually confuses the name with the judgment. The point, of course, was not to make it good again, wieder gut machen, but to make it good. And what you lost, brother, you still don't know. Or did you dare to venture forth to search songless in other lands what you lost and cursed your elders for? Only your children know. The meaning of false apologies, curdling like mother's milk gone sour. The lines of rectitude, sowing hatred in the stuttering dawn. These grave pits you stand in, as if they were level land, and still wondering what you lost without the courage to die. Not here, you cried, brother, not here. Why not here, then, the sound of bullets fired by the children? Why not here, the anguish nurtured by grasping hands? For here is the song you have been waiting for, O oh brother. Here is the song of your siren, screaming in the night. And now, without understanding still, brother, you condemn your children's cry. Love them as you despise your elders, or you will live to know why. Believe me, you will live to know why. Don't make it good again, brother. You need your police cars for other things. These are not real synagogues, brother, only cultural replicas you cannot go near. They are not sellable like your plaster pharaohs, and your bedpans are overflowing with cheap champagne. Just make it good, brother. But make it good in here. This Wunderpanzer is the doom of your heartland, brother. Better let your armor down. Wilhelm Reich may be dead, brother, and panthers prowl your streets. Your women are lusting for the Turks, brother, and your men are full of fear. Your winning was always your losing, brother, and your losing was no losing, brother. O oh, heirs of Hagen in black leather, be undeceived by the wet tongues of your dogs. It is time to celebrate your own mongrel longings, brother. Time to love the terror you left to your children. For they are your only hope, brother. Sons and daughters of a cowardly despair. The arbiters of justice, they bring you the truth you never could bear. I tell you, Hitler is alive and feeding fish in the Ganga. <laughs>